hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial we will talk about how to make animation in microsoft powerpoint using adobe illustrator's vector files so in this tutorial i will try to explain the importance of using vector files in microsoft powerpoint to create stunning animation effects adobe illustrator will be used as a helping hand to convert vector files into a proper svg format and svg stands for scalable vector graphics which we later will import into the powerpoint so if you have watched some of my previous powerpoint animation tutorial videos then you might know that most of the time i use shape tools to draw all the characters and the entire scene and later i use the entrance emphasis exit and motion paths animation effects to add motion to them as you can see here in this animated gif file that I have created in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this entire girl character has been drawn and animated. Like to draw this character, I have used the shape tools and you can learn more about using shape tools. And the link of that playlist is given in the description. As I always said that graphic designing takes much of the time than animating the objects. Most of the time learners don't want to spend much of their time drawing characters using the PowerPoint shape tools. So in this long tutorial, which is more theoretical than practical, I will try to explain a few image file types that might help you to ease the graphic designing process by using the ready-made vector files. Of course, we are going to use other people's work, so don't forget to give the credits in your descriptions. Adobe Illustrator will be only be used to select specific layers of the vector files and later we will convert them to SVG format to import into the microsoft powerpoint that way you will be able to ungroup all the layers and can then apply specific animation effects to individual layers in microsoft powerpoint we call them objects so here i would like to mention first thing that is i don't think this article was even possible without the help of freepick.com which provides you millions of free graphic files in four popular file formats which are vector files photos PSD and icon files. You can create a free account on this website to use resources by attributing the real author. If you want to use the contents without attribution, then you can go for a premium free pick account. On freepick.com, you can either sign up for a new account or you can even use your Google, Facebook or Twitter to log in without the need of making a new account. The login credentials of those services can be used to log in into a free pick account by authorizing the access you can search for thousands of vector files made available by great mind from all around the world you can even use the filters to limit the search like file type vector files and license free searching without a filter will display all types of contents like images icon files photoshop psd layered images or vector files so let's say if we search for walk post then you can find hundreds of free vector files mostly available in AI and EPS format with the different layers that can be later easily be modified with PowerPoint. So after selecting one of the image and clicking the download button, the free pick will ask you if you want to use that file for free with the attribution or you can go for a premium account without attribution. Most of these downloaded files will be in a compressed file format and you can use Windows Zip or WinRAR to extract the contents. After unzipping the file, you may find more than one file type of the same image. As for this walk post, we have two different types of files, EPS and JPG. Keep in mind that you cannot use the JPG file type of the walk post in PowerPoint as it is a single image file. To animate this character by applying PowerPoint animation effect, we need each of the walk pose as a separate object. So basically what are vector files and how they can help us in PowerPoint. In short, vector files are constructed through some kind of mathematical formulas instead of pixels that you can see in other file types like JPG, GIF and PNG. The most lovable thing about the vector file is that you can scale them without compromising with the clarity and resolution. Not only that, that also applies to Microsoft PowerPoint where you can also scale characters or object made with PowerPoint shapes tool to a large extent without losing the quality or resolution. 
the most popular vector file types are AIN, EPS, most of which are created with Adobe Illustrator. But that is not the case with JPG file types. And when you try to increase the size of a small pixel image, then of course you will lose the quality. So how we can use vector files inside PowerPoint? First you need to understand that what image file types Microsoft PowerPoint supports. So if you click on the insert tab and then click on the pictures and then click on the file types drop down button, then you will see a list of all types of images that can be inserted into your slide. As most of the vector files that you will download from FreePick will be in EPS or AI format, so you will not be able to insert them into PowerPoint. The only way to use these free vector files inside PowerPoint is to convert them into a vector format that PowerPoint supports, like EMF or SVG. Window Enhanced Meta File, EMF, Window Meta File and Scalable Vector Graphics are the most used file types for vector images the layers of which can easily be ungrouped and modified in Microsoft PowerPoint. But you don't see AI or EPS file types in supported PowerPoint image file type list. The point is you cannot insert AI or EPS file types directly into your PowerPoint slide as they are not supported. Here you can see an illustration where in the insert dialog box you only see 5 images whereas we have 7 images in the same folder. So how we can convert those EPS files that we will download from freepick.com and later how you can convert them to EMF or SVG file formats that PowerPoint supports. If you google with the above question then you can find hundreds of websites that can convert one file type to another for free online. But the layers of most of these vector files converted through these free online services can break when inserted and ungrouped in PowerPoint. However, you can try these free conversion options, otherwise you have to use Adobe Illustrator to convert the downloaded vector file into EMF or SVG file format. So now I will explain you the power of PowerPoint and Adobe Illustrator together. You can open the downloaded vector file in Adobe Illustrator after extracting the zip file that you downloaded from FreePick in previous steps. Now if you see in the layers panel, you can be very specific about the image layers that you want to keep or remove by clicking on the I button. So after hiding or showing required layers from the layers panel, you can go to the file menu, click on export and choose the vector file type that we can use with PowerPoint. A quick tip is SVG file type works best with Microsoft PowerPoint. So here I will give you an illustration by making a walk cycle animation in PowerPoint using the vector file. Now if you insert the newly converted SVG file into PowerPoint, then you can see a new tab graphics format in the office ribbon. From where you can use the ungroup command to break this single vector image into separate PowerPoint shape layers. Keep in mind that after using the ungroup command from graphics format menu, upon selecting the same image again, you will start seeing the shape format instead of graphics format tab, as our image is now converted into the shape layers. You might need to use the ungroup command from the shape format tab as well to further extract the layers within from subgroups. After ungrouping the SVG file, most of the EPS layers will automatically get converted into the freeform shape of PowerPoint that you can see in the selection pen. You might also find several subgroups under the layers that you can also ungroup to have each layer as a separate shape layer in PowerPoint, depending on how and which object you want to animate. As each of the walk pose in this slide is made of several Adobe Illustrator layers, so after ungrouping the SVG file, you get hundreds of freeform shapes from each body part of the character. Here as you can see an example shows that all the layers of one walk pose has been selected and we will group them into a single PowerPoint object as we need each pose as a single object. 
So basically to create a walk pose from these objects here, we need to convert them into nine separate objects. So you can see that all the layers of one walk pose have been grouped into a single PowerPoint object and we named it pose one through the selection pan. So we will repeat the same steps to group all the layers of specific walk pose to convert them into a single object. That way we will have nine different walk poses of the character. Don't forget to name each of the pose through the selection pan. Once you have all the shape layers ready, then you can apply the desired animation effect as required on all the layers. I have already published a few tutorials on how to make a walk cycle in PowerPoint. So as we have all the different walk poses of the character now available, we can use the flash once animation effect along with the motion paths to easily create the walk cycle in Microsoft PowerPoint. So here basically I will use the flash once animation effect and will apply that effect on each of the walk pose object and later you can add the delay timing and change the effect option properties to create the walk cycle. And after applying the animation effect, if we see the slideshow, then you can see that we have converted a free vector file into walk pose. So that way you can search for thousands of free vector files at freepick.com and you can download those vector files and then convert them to a supported EMF or SVG file format and can import that into PowerPoint and then can group and ungroup the shape layers that you can easily animate in Microsoft PowerPoint. That way you can save the time of designing the characters or animated scenes. So I hope you will like this tutorial. Let me know by liking, sharing and commenting on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos. You can learn more about using vector files in Microsoft PowerPoint and we have published an article on our website and the link of that article is also given in the description. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.